Thomas, called his driver, but it was too late. That's done it, said his driver. We shan't get any further today. But what about my passengers? Don't worry, they'll be looked after, replied his driver. Driver, brilliant. When he could, it was too late. Remnants of the wooden shed clung to his front end, which was feeling rather sore. I can't see a thing, said Thomas. And then before he could even think of anything else... Bust my buffers! cried Thomas. What happened to the foghorn? I... Puffed. He whistled, but there was no reply. Meanwhile, Henry had noticed something too. My train's getting heavier, he thought to himself. I'm slowing down. Then there was trouble. No one was hurt but a strong smell of fish hung in the air. That's nice, we don't need to stop, said Thomas happily. Yes, we do, called his driver, but it was too late. Through the station they thundered, disaster lay ahead. Something sticky splashed all over James. He had run into two tar wagons and was black from smoke box to cab. He was more dirty than hurt, but the tar wagons and some trucks were all to pieces. Branch line couldn't take his weight and the rails buckled. Oh, help, Gordon cried as he slid off the tracks and into a field. No one was hurt, but poor Gordon felt very undignified. What will the fat controller say? 
he groaned.